Good morning, guys. Welcome back. back. We're to the channel in today's video. <laughs> Finally, we're gonna be doing the Starlight Headliner in the six. So, so we're not getting it installed today. I got a bunch of work to do on the liner itself, but the next video will be the install. So, I've actually already finished the headliner. So, um, <laughs> I forgot to film an intro so anyway the starlight looks killer but again y'all are gonna have to wait till the next video for the install uh, because i wanted to make a little more in-depth video of that but anyway let's backtrack a couple days and uh, we will start on our 450 piece starlight headliner all right guys so i, I was using this uh adapter that we had here in the house i guess um this is ac it needs to be dc as i've figured out so went to the shop and i found that i had uh, some of these pigtails i have a pack of these somewhere i'm going to try to find them uh but if we i'm going to put all this stuff together and uh, show you all but we did get it working it was just the difference and um this is ac it needs dc so i'm gonna hook it up to this milwaukee 12 volt battery and uh, show you what we got. All right, so using the Milwaukee battery, uh, as you can see, they do indeed work. The remote works. I took the battery out of the key fob on the C2, so the uh, remote does work. Uh, the app, for some reason, I can't get the app to work, but we're not we're not too worried about that as long as we have the remote. So I reckon. I'm going to look, see if I can find that pack of these that I have. Uh, this is actually off of a Halo kit that I had. So, I'm going to do some looking, uh, see what I can find, and then I guess we will get to installing the Starlight. Alright guys, so we have, uh, y'all seen, we reupholstered the headliner in black suede. Uh, it's been sitting here, just kind of hanging out in the shop. But, I got... Our fiber optics here, our uh, light motors in there with the remote. And I grabbed an upholstery needle out of the house. So we're going to try that. If that doesn't work real well, um, we'll get a drill bit and do that. But I guess um, first things first, I'm thinking the way I want to do this is I want to run it to the passenger side where the spare tire tooling is supposed to be uh, because you know 6.0 stuff it doesn't have one um, but I think I'm going to try to run it over there and try to put the box on the passenger side on the floor so I think that's the plan I think we can run it well kind of right right through there um, down the pillar and to the floor so I figure we do this down here. That way we can kind of lay it out and maximize the length of this. I think this is just under 10 feet. I think it's like 9.8 or something like that. Um, and I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping we can go down the pillar all the way to the floor on the passenger side of the truck and I can get some Velcro or something and uh, just stick the thing to the carpet. That way it's easy to get to, but we don't have to cut that back carpeted piece or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start laying this thing out and uh, see what we got. All right, so this should be about the longest distance that we should have to travel. And it's looking like we're gonna be good to go. So if we come over here, um, we got, probably got a few feet to work with. So we should be just fine. Now, as you can see, I've already marked the headliner. I am going to count these just to make sure. Uh, um, and then I don't exactly know how many dots I put on here. So we'll figure that out. Uh, but I guess here in a second, I'm gonna go ahead and start poking these holes. I've already started um when i originally started doing this but 
had to restart because the fabric ripped and all that. But anyway, I'm gonna get started here. Uh, start setting these through, and then I have some Gorilla Glue over there that we're gonna use to glue these down. All right, so the upholstery needle there works uh, great. So we got four already in just you know 20 seconds or so. Um, as you can see right there all the way through um so what i'm going to do is to make sure we don't poke too many holes uh i don't know if y'all can really tell but we concentrated most of it here on the front uh not so much in the back uh just personal preference there but i wanted to make sure that we don't poke too many holes in the headliner itself so i'm gonna poke one stick it poke one stick it um, and then every so many I'm gonna come through here and glue them this is the glue that I bought uh, to do this with so should be should be fine I know a lot of people use hot glue on these but the reason I didn't want to do hot glue is I kind of thought maybe it might get too hot and melt uh, these little fiber optics so anyway uh, just a little update there the little upholstery needle works just fine so i'm going to continue here and uh well we got i believe 450 you know give or take a little bit uh, i ordered a 450 piece so i got several more to do obviously um so i'm going to get to it and uh, i will update y'all along the way all right so we got several down but one issue this table is getting a bit difficult to get in the middle. So what we're going to do, we're going to carry this. I'm going to carry this uh, up to the house. That way we can kind of lean it on our kitchen table. And ain't got to worry about dust and dirt and everything else. So I'm going to carry this up here. And uh, we're going to keep at it, I guess. All right, so we've moved in here into the house. And uh, I will say this works much better for accessibility. Uh, this is about eye level, you know, somewhere in here. Uh, so, works works pretty well. Um, now, my thumb is, yeah, it's not happy. <laughs> that little upholstery needle we're using almost isn't big enough. What we're going to do, poke it through and kind of wall it, around, wall it around and it's, it's not working too well. So I think uh, I'm going to run down here to the shop and grab a drill and a small drill bit. And I think I'm going to try that out. probably on some of these back here. That way they're, if it's not good, it's not as noticeable. So anyway, but I mean, we're, we're coming along. I got most of this uh quarter here so as soon as i get this one done um we'll do that one then we'll probably flip it over to do that one but we'll do that one and then we'll do the backs um just uh i don't know i might do this one then that one then that one we'll see we'll see how everything works out um but we're looking pretty good thus far so i might get this done tonight I uh, might not this is about an hour and a half in so I uh, this might have to continue on to tomorrow but I'm gonna run down here grab a drill and a small drill bit and uh, well I guess we'll see if that works any better all right guys <laughs> so we started this at 340 uh, keep that in mind because it is currently 9.56 and we just just got this thing finished so here in a second I'm gonna look over it make sure there's no um, no I guess we'll speak English here uh, make sure there's no stars that I forgot to glue uh, because this is a <laughs> this is a heck of a, a little trip um, but we still got to trim the backs um, I'm probably going to do that tomorrow, or I might wait until we put it in the truck, 
I don't know because I really don't want to flip it over and risk uh, damaging any of these. Um, but anyway, here in a second, I'm going to take this uh, Milwaukee battery key again and uh, we're going to fire this thing up and take a look at it. All right, guys, so I got this thing. I'm trying to hold it to the Milwaukee here, but check that out. That's pretty sweet, I will say. It is much brighter in person. I mean, it's lighting up um, this whole side of the kitchen, but that thing is pretty sweet. Now, I'm going to try to hit some buttons. There we go. There's red, green, blue, and white. And this does have the twinkle. So, let me speed that up there and back to purple. So, I'll probably leave this thing on purple, to be completely honest with y'all. Um, because, you know, that's the 6 O's accent color and all. But, there we have it. And I will say, it looks pretty freaking good. Um, but, I'm going to get some clips for Instagram reels and all that kind of stuff. And then, uh, I'll show y'all what the other side of this thing looks like. Alright, so interesting little bit of information as <laughs> i was playing with this uh, my grandpa came and said hey the demon eyes are on in the 300 <laughs> i turned this off they went off i don't know what's going on but anyway if we check this out this is this is what we got um currently so there's some little pieces of fuzz that is foam so we're not worried about that uh, because I can reach in here and peel that foam off so we'll get that when uh, we trim everything but there's a little piece of it right there but we'll get all that when we trim them I'm not gonna mess with it tonight uh, for one I just glued them and uh, two it is currently 10.08 and I haven't eaten anything at all today so I guess I should probably go eat something for one and uh well I guess come back take a shower and go to sleep but I think in the morning if these are dry enough then uh, we'll go ahead and clip them I think I don't know we'll see we'll figure that out but if nothing else I can at least flip the thing over and uh, show y'all a little better what it looks like so with that being said I will catch you guys in the morning. All right, guys. So it is, um, well, it's actually two days later. Um, figured yesterday we'd let this thing sit here and uh, make sure everything's nice and stuck. So everything should be good. Um, the glue is nice and nice and dry on all of these. So should be good. But one thing so we use it guys on these to kind of try to halfway organize and I had I posted a picture of this on my snapchat so if you want to add me I'll put a thing up here on the screen as well as the other socials so if y'all want to check those out um well there they are <laughs> but I posted a picture on my story and a. uh, uh guy hit me up and said hey said, I work for a company installing fiber optics these are fiber optics um, he said don't use zip ties he said use either electrical tape or velcro and he said the reason for that being is he said zip ties will actually break the fibers so I'm gonna run to the shop right now uh, grab some stuff we're gonna get these zip ties off here um, try to try to tape these up and Try to somewhat clean some of this up and um, well we'll go ahead and flip the thing over and uh, start trimming all those strands off the back all right so we got everything uh, taped instead of zip tied we tried to clean this up a little bit um, a little bit more so we got it pretty good I will say um, 
this here had a ton of slack there so i fed that back through as you can see this here fed that back through that way this is all um relatively nice and neat uh to run down because this is probably going to get run down the um c pillar on the passenger side so i guess uh well probably about to get it installed in the truck i found a couple loose strands so we went ahead poked a couple more holes fed those in just glued them a minute ago but i think uh i'm gonna run down here to the shop i'm gonna do some cleanup uh in there and pull the truck in i'm gonna pull the front seats out of the truck uh, just to make sure we have a little bit more room but um well all in all <laughs> there it is so i think we're going to clip it in the truck uh, because i really don't want to lay it down on the fibers and mess with uh possibly monkey and any of them up so i think we're just going to uh, clip those on the other side in the truck um so that shouldn't be shouldn't be too too big a deal but anyway i'm gonna run down here at shop we're gonna do some cleanup and um well that'll probably be a wrap for this video so the putting it in the truck i wanted to make a separate video um that way i can show how we were going to wire it and you know all the fun stuff so anyway guys i reckon uh i'm gonna try to set this on these chairs that way y'all can get a look at the other side of it um, but like I said, I don't want to lay it down, so be very careful <laughs> about that. Um, but I think I'm going to try to lean it on, uh, like I said, on one of these chairs and, uh, we will take a look at the finished, somewhat finished product. All right. So here we have it. Uh, now again, I think I showed y'all little bits of foam, you know, where we poked them through, but that's not a not a huge deal so anyway like i said i'm gonna run out here we're gonna do some cleanup in the shop um we're gonna get this thing installed but guys like i said i think that is going to be a wrap for this video so with that being said if y'all enjoyed today's video or found it helpful please drop a like and comment down below smash that subscribe button thanks for watching guys and i hope everybody has a great day